Hello and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to talk about that we are truly blessed. We are so fortunate to be on this earth under the guise of our spirit mentors, under God, under the leadership of Jesus Christ and our guardian angel always helping us. Let's begin. We are truly blessed. The spirit realm is watching over us in a manner that we could never envision. Our life, each life of every one of us, is so much more significant and rich than we can imagine. When we are at our lowest point or the highest point in our life, remember that each stage serves nothing more than to teach us. Often the successes we have are the most dangerous because then we forget to be humble and grateful. We become too full of ourselves. We think we are invincible gods. Whereas in reality, we are an actor in a play with the scenes all scripted. The audience is waiting to see how our character reacts to each successive challenge. Behind the curtain, there is an assistant whispering our lines to us in case we forget, reminding us to stay on track and not to lose focus. The audience is evaluating our performance. They wait to see each denouement of each distinct episode. They long to see the character grow, to rise out of any previous misconceptions, to emerge a better person. They laugh and cry with us, and they are ever hopeful. The audience well knows that when the play is finished, the actors will go home, back to the real world. The actor is the same person, but positively slightly altered by what part he or she played. Each of us is the actor, the spirit world is the audience, and the assistant gently guiding us is our guardian angel. Everything about us has been built for one express purpose, to create an atmosphere where we may learn to improve, to eventually become a productive member of spirit society, to take our place as a responsible spirit who has acquired the personality to weld godlike powers. Nothing else matters, not how much money you make, not the car you drive, not the exotic vacations you take, or the house you live in. All that is just scenery to place your character and context for your lesson. An army of educators and caretakers stand by at your request, and that is the most difficult obstacle, to acknowledge that we are not masters of our own fate, but students who need help and don't always know when to ask for it. Spiritism tells us to not hesitate to request assistance. It is far better to ask for guidance and attempt to follow the righteous path and fail than to reject our conscience and forge ahead on our own. For then, failure and our response is actually a victory. We prove that we shall not alter our path to achieve a goal by nefarious means that material sacrifice is nothing in regards to our spiritual growth. Hence, know well, you are surrounded by kind and loving guides who are always ready and willing to provide love, fortification, and advice. You are never alone, no matter how it may seem to you. You are never abandoned. You are an important young soul who one day will be a great spirit and a benefit to the entire universe. If you are interested more in how the spirit world guides us, please read my book, How We Are Guided by Spirits, Book 3 of Spiritism. Book 3 illustrates the ground game of the spirit world via the messages of multiple spirits to the Rev. G. Val Owen. We are presented examples of how the spirit realm above us peers down upon their unruly students. The process of tracking and modifying behavior on an individual and a collective basis is revealed. Even the broader direction of human society in the future is posted for all to see. God bless.